In this video, I'm gonna show you a secret method on how you can almost automatically create paintings like this one and this one for free. With the earning potential of this guy that has over 1,600 sales at $132 per painting, that works out to be, well, a lot of money. The exact steps we're going to take in this video is finding paintings, prints that sell, get paintings and then enhance it. You're not actually gonna paint anything. Have them printed and ready to hang on a wall. And then finally use an untapped traffic source for this to send people to your store who are ready to buy. And if you can figure out that blurred out secret traffic source that I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. In case you haven't figured it out as yet, the store that you're gonna be creating is on Etsy. And the paintings on the canvas here really do sell. And if you're somebody who might be thinking that the reason these people are getting all of these seals is from paid traffic. What I mean by that is somebody spending money on Pinterest ads, Instagram ads, or even ads right here on Etsy to get their store in front of buyers. And the truth is some of these sellers probably do that, but a lot of them don't which they use free traffic, which I am about to show you. Well, not right now, a little bit later in the video. Let's focus on the store first. But the point I'm making is regardless of whether it's paid or organic traffic, this social proof right here of having over 95 reviews, five stars, would help in getting somebody's attention other than the thumbnail here. And over time of getting enough sales, you would actually rank higher in the search results for whichever for the product, the keywords that you're trying to rank for. Now, as I said, the first thing that we're going to do is to find prints that are actually selling these paintings. Now, there are two things that I'll be keeping in mind when I'm looking at the results here. Types of paintings that show up multiple times, like this one and this one, as well as what will be easy to find photos of. And based on these top 16 photos here, what I've found at least four to six of are pictures of flowers, of roses. So that's it, I've decided that we're gonna look for paintings of flowers or roses. And I did say that you don't have to be a painter or have any experience with painting, because what we're gonna do is get paintings that are in the public domain. And the license that comes along with it gives you the right to use it however you like, which means you can also sell it on products. Products like the canvas that we were just looking at on Etsy. And to get access to the rest of the video, you just have to hit the like button. And as soon as you do that, the rest of the video would just automatically start to load. Awesome. The site called rawpixel.com where you have access now to over 1 million free creative resources. But where you really want to go is up here to public domain. And take note where it says here the world's best collection of public domain art and design resources. We are making these available to you to use as you like with a Creative Commons license. And the Creative Commons license on creativecommons.org makes it clear that the person associated with this work has dedicated the work, that painting, to the public domain by waiving all of his or her rights to the work worldwide under copyright law. And to be explicitly clear, you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. And that's everything that you can find under this tab. That's all of these things. So search the public domain for flower painting. Let's see what we find. Okay, well that's it. Without too much searching, I like this one. Let's just go with this one. Very fine, the right hand side here that it is in the public domain. It's a free Creative Commons image. You can even hit here to view the license and it leads us back to the same page. So we're good to go with this photo. No, you don't have to go with this one. You can choose some of the other photos, but I think this one looks fine. So let's hit free download. Quickly provide the basic information, sign up, or what I like to do is just hit sign up with Google. Just pressing one button is much easier. Once you log back in, hit download. And just like that, I have access to this high quality painting that I can sell for free. The next thing you wanna do is retouch this photo to make it look a little bit better by popping the colors, making it brighter, showing some more detail in the flowers. And you're definitely not going to use something like Photoshop for this. As a matter of fact, you're not even going to be editing it. You are going to just use one button to do it automatically. That's because it's always easier to just click one button, just like the subscribe button. Actually, that's two buttons because there's a notification bell. So once you got that done, let me show you how to click that other button to edit the painting automatically. What I'm using is this site called canva.com. Once you register with the link that I will provide you with shortly, just hit login after. Head over to create a design, but instead of choosing a template, you're gonna come down to edit photo. Locate the painting that we just downloaded from Raw Pixel. Choose to open it here. There it is, yes, we want to edit this photo. Now check this out. As soon as the painting has been uploaded to Canva, click it, go to edit image, and then come down to auto enhance. Click that, and just like that, the photo has been enhanced. If you want to increase the intensity on the enhancement, you can just click this and drag it up. And to see what it looked like before, you can hit show original. So this is before and this is after. Before, after. And when you're done, hit apply. 
In case you're wondering what this program just did, you see all of these options over here? What Canva went ahead and did for us with this photo is they analyzed it and then automatically applied the different controls that was best suited to enhancing this photo. You can go ahead and make the adjustments if you want, but I'm good with this. So if you wanted to try out Canva, I have a link in the description below where you can get a 30 day free trial with all of these features. So check that out. Now go ahead and download this image by going up to here, hitting this button, choosing to download. You can even carry up the size, but we'll just stick with these dimensions. Come down and hit download. And in just a few seconds, this enhanced painting is ready to download. Enhanced floor. Yeah, my naming convention is not the best. Now that you've reached this far, the next thing on the list is to print that painting on a canvas for free and have it shipped to our store. For that, head over to printify.com. Where how Printify is going to work is that you'll have to pick the product that we're gonna use. What we're gonna use is a canvas print that somebody could hang up on their wall. Once we choose that, we're then going to customize it by uploading our painting onto the canvas. Have a look at what it looks like, then integrate it and have it shipped to our Etsy store. So head back up to the top and hit start selling. Sign up. And you're not here to spend money, you're here to make money. So hit, I'm here to sell products online. What it describes you, well, you're an artist. You just artistically enhanced that painting. So you're an artist, right? Yeah. Choose that you're looking to start selling and then hit next. We want to design our first product. And I believe you'll be able to find that in home and living. Here's canvas. Now you could have selected to print a poster, but, but for this example, I want to see how to do this on a wood canvas, where it looks like this on somebody's wall, except with a better painting. So hit start designing. Ready to start creating? Show you. Hit add your design. Now you're going to find that enhanced painting that you downloaded from Canva. It's a good thing I named it enhanced flow, so I know it's that one. All right, let's see how it looks. Now I should have looked at the dimensions of the photo before, but well, in this case, I'll just fill it in the frame and crop it a little bit, just like this. I think that'll work. And what's cool with Printify is you can see what it looks like on a canvas on somebody's wall. Check this out. Yeah, it's mixing paint. How cool is that, All right? So I'm good with this. So I'm gonna hit save product and I'm already getting a notification up here. Looking to connect your store? Why, yes, we are. So that takes us on to the next step. We're gonna create the Etsy store now and integrate it with Printify. So head over to etsy.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page and look for sell on Etsy. Click that, get started, provide an email address and then hit continue. And after you sign in, scroll down and hit open your Etsy shop. On the left main menu, go down to listings and then go all the way up here and hit add a listing. And obviously the first thing that you want to add here is the first thing that somebody sees, the photo, the thumbnail. So pick that enhanced floor. The other really important thing that you need to focus on here is your title. To include keywords that buyers would use to search for your item. And to find that out, just start searching in the bar here, floor P. These are all terms here that people are actually searching for on Etsy. And what we want is that when somebody searches for flower painting, eventually, our product shows up in the first set of results here. But you don't need to worry about that as yet because we're not looking to rank in search for as a brand new store because that'll be a little bit difficult. We are going to generate our own traffic. And right before I show you that, let's quickly integrate Printify with our Etsy store. So back on printify.com, you remember this notification? Well, let's explore that by hitting this drop down here and then hitting manage my stores. Connect and there's Etsy. Over on Etsy.com, I immediately got this notification saying that an application would like to connect with my account. And it shows the email address that I signed up with just now on Printify. So you can go ahead and quickly read this and then hit allow access to integrate the two stores. That's all you need to do. You could go ahead and customize the details a little bit more, but essentially the purpose of Printify here is to get these beautiful painting prints on this canvas when somebody orders it from over at your Etsy shop. And now for the moment that you've been waiting for, the secret traffic source. Well, it's not so secret, but it is underutilized for a traffic source to an Etsy shop. What I'm talking about is YouTube Shorts. And to be really specific of an example, it's time-lapse videos of paintings just like these we're going to recreate. And no, we're not gonna download these exact videos and upload it as our own. We're gonna do this all legal and free. Pretty much what a video like this is about is somebody speeding up the process of painting a flower in this case from beginning to ending. Speeding it up so that it's under 60 seconds to be a YouTube short and just playing some music in the background that you could also download for free. And so the concept here is that if somebody looks at a video like this, at the end of it, it's somebody that appreciates art. So we can have a little bar going across right here that says something like link in description 
for beautiful paintings like this one. And when somebody clicks these three arrows here, hits the description, you'd have the link to your Etsy store here. And when they click it, it means that they came over there with some buyer intent. And there's a higher chance here that they would actually make a purchase versus just stumbling upon your store. Now, because you stayed this long in the video, I'm gonna show you the quick method to put together a video like this one. Search on YouTube for flower painting. And while there are some nice examples here to use that we that will be very helpful for time-lapse, some of these creators may not have given us the permission to use their videos. So to get access to the creators who allow us to use their videos, hit filters and then hit creative commons. Now these videos we can use. Remember you're not limited to search for flower paintings. But let's say you were using this. This one got a lot of views. So there must be some reason why people like this. This one actually is a great example. So let me just quickly scan through this entire clip and see if this is something that we could use. And it looks good. So now that we've decided that we're going to use this video, copy the URL, head over to the site called y2mate.is, then paste the URL right here, hit start. Now we want this to be 1080p, so hit convert, then download it to your PC. Now to edit the video for free, I like to use this video editor called OpenShot, which is really straightforward to use. So just head to openshot.org and hit download and grab the version that's applicable to your operating system. Hit download. Once you've installed it and opened it up, this is what it looks like. Drag and drop the video that you just downloaded onto the timeline. Now remember this video is very long, all the way up to 51 minutes. And we need to get that down to under 60 seconds. So to do that, just right click the time fast forward 16x. Now that's a lot, it's under four minutes, but it's still not under one minute. So just repeat that again, and maybe this time four times. And from checking here now, it's just 50 seconds, which just meets the requirements of a YouTube short. But we're not done yet. Let's get the music for free now. Search in Google for YouTube audio library. Sign into your YouTube account if you haven't done so already. And here you go. All of these tracks you could use for free. You can just hit play to sample to see what it sounds like. Let's say you found that one was suitable, you just head over to download. And in case you're not sure if you can use all of this audio royalty free, the license type here states here that you're free to use this audio track in any of your videos. No attribution is required. So now let's place that song we just downloaded onto the timeline. Pull it across. And the last thing is actually one of the most important things for the video that I forgot to do. And that's to make sure that the profile is set for a YouTube short. So come up here to choose profile and select HD vertical, 1080p, and hit close. Now you want to go on any of the corners here, hold on control on your keyboard now, and click and drag this to maintain the dimensions but increase the size a little bit bigger. And let's check out the video now. Once you're pleased with the video, come up to file, hit export project and export video. And this is what the YouTube short looks like so far. So be sure to upload that new video to YouTube and most importantly, copy the link to your Etsy product. If you want, you can use a link shortener like bitly.com and paste that long URL right here. Hit create to make it a much shorter link. And of course, paste that new shortened link in your description of the video that you just created and uploaded. So at this point, it's just a matter of repeating the process, not of creating these different products, but mainly the process of making more YouTube shorts to drive more traffic towards your Etsy store, which would increase the chances of you making your first seal. Now, if you like this method, but you want to do something a little bit different, not particularly flower paintings, but maybe t-shirts, then you're going to want to check out this video next, where I look at a method where you can create those t-shirts for free on one website, not Etsy, create unique designs by having no experience, and then drive the traffic to that store with YouTube shorts, but in a different way that you probably didn't think about as yet. So check that out next.